Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're gonna take on another story mission. Today, it's the Gears of Justice Dispatch. Let's go. Alright, Gear Guy. I actually have seen these cards before. I know they're future cards, but I've still seen them. Gears of Justice Dispatch. Let's do it. More of a gadget man myself. The world was in great turmoil thanks to the evil Dr. Jarek, who had planned to conquer the world. Created by Dr. Oh, Gearick, sorry. The created by Dr. Gearick, the Wari Giano troops held the uh, place in terror. Will the earth be conquered by evil human gears? But where is the evil? That when the where there is evil, there is justice. For every clockwise gear, there is a counterclockwise one. It just so happened that Professor Kuroso, an authority of gear engineering, secretly created Gears of Justice, the Gear Giano. To the scene of top speed, check out the, this quartering. Okay, what? Gear GR Accelerator. Marine surveys check. Deep sea water pressure, no problem. Gear GR Anchor. Fly to the other side of the earth. You've carried mock speed. Gear GR Attacker. Okay, these are weird. I'm loving this, though. This is a lot cute. This is very cute. Gear GR Arsenal. Look at that thing. This drill could pierce anything. I'll show you how deep I can dig. Gear GR Gyogger. All right, double shields just for aren't just for show. Gear Gia armor. Oh, there are a lot of these gear cards. And double barrel rolls with the awakened the giant. All right, who's the giant? Super gear weapon, gear giant, gigant X. These gear weapons of justice sort to. Okay, this is very funny. I love this. So these little gears are here are going to stop the evil gears. That's what I'm hearing. And we got three gear Giano cards. Nice. So with our three Gear Giano cards, let's go ahead and go in here. Gear Gia Attacker. Okay. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped face up, you can destroy any number of spells and traps. Got it. It's pretty good. It's got 1900 attack. That's pretty nice. Gear Gia Accelerator. If you control Gear Gia... Ah, okay. It's an XYZ summoning deck. Okay. So start with Attacker, right? And then Accelerator gets to Special Summon. All right. See, I can I can understand the basics. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and special summon this card, Gear Gear Gigant X. Ooh, very shiny. And look at him. He's got his own little animation. Twenty three hundred attack. Let's activate his effect, whatever it may be. All right, so let the I'll detach this material. So let the card to add to your hand. Uh, they're not telling me which one to add, so I guess I'll just pick one of the Gear Gianos, the originals. All right. Oh, it looks like that's game already. Who cares? Let's win, everybody. Gear Giano, Gigant X, win me the duel. simple enough. Hey, Sangan, last episode... Uh, funny, because Sangan's my little buddy. Last episode, I actually pulled a Sangan, so... I could put that to use. So let me go ahead and do a duel. Looks like we get some more Gear Giano cards for winning this duel. Eh, this seems pretty easy. XYZ summoning is easy. It's just like you need two of the same level monster. Ooh, limiter removal. That's a busted card. I love that. You contribute this card, then target one level four machine time monster in your graveyard. Special summon that card, but its effects are negated. All right, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gear Gear card. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Ain't that just a great card? So great that I'll use it immediately. Yep, Sakuretsu Armor is gone. Gear Gear Anchor. What's turn? You can change this card to face down defense issue. If this card is flipped face up, you destroy monsters on the field. I'll turn over Gear Gear monsters you currently control. Screw that. I'm just going to summon you. And it looks like none of these cards could be used yet so i'm gonna go ahead and attack whoa 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 whoa! hold off limiter removal hold off just so two gear monsters from your deck increase those by one you can only activate that once per turn that's pretty good this trap card is pretty good all right i'm gonna end my turn and there's the attacking one i was afraid of all right let's see what he does he's gonna attack I activate my trap card. Now. I choose... 
Uh, I don't know who to choose. I choose this guy. And I choose... This guy. Alright. Come and attack me instead. Or me. I don't care. Hit one of these guys. Just don't hit that guy. Oh, we have an optional effect. Let me see what it does. No, I'm not doing that one. Alright. Gear Giano. Boom. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, there goes my anchor. Really needed that anchor. Alright. I draw. Gear Gear Armor. Okay. This card is flipped face up. You can have one Gear Gear monster from your deck to your hand, except Gear Gear Armor. Uh, when this card is special, summoned by the hand of Effector. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to summon this guy. And then, I guess, it's probably in my best interest to activate this guy's effect. It's negate. Oh, wait. Its effects are negated. That's all. Okay, that's not too bad. And let me get this card back. Not yet. Oh, wait. Am I not allowed to get that card back? Is that one of his effects? Or is there something on the field stopping me from doing so? Okay, I guess I wasn't allowed to. Whatever. I don't want to read more into it. Let's just go ahead and do a special summon. So I can make a lot of stuff. Super Quantal, number 27. Uh, or I can make Gear Gear Giant. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of you. And you. And we're going to make Gigantax. There we go. 2300 attacks, pretty good. Then we're going to go ahead and detach one of these materials. I would say this guy. Nope, limb removal. You need to calm down. And select the card to add to your hand. Uh, this accelerator guy is good, right? Yeah, we've got the accelerator guy. And then I special summon the accelerator guy. And I could do another special summon. I'll get... What does this one do? Cannot attack unless it has XYZ materials. You can detach one XYZ material, then target one other monster on the field, change it face down to Zen Citizen. This effect can only be activated during either player's turn. If this card is super quantum, as has XYZ material. Let's turn, you can super one quantum. Oh, okay, that's very complicated, and I don't want to read anymore. What does this one do? Two level five monsters. I don't have two level five monsters. Uh, just checking. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle, you can search for something from your extra deck, one rank 10 or higher. Uh, I really don't want to. Let's just do this guy again. Alright. I got two of these guys now. That's pretty good. They're decently strong. Then we're going to go ahead and activate your effect. Uh, I guess this guy. Nope. And then I'm going to get... Uh, uh, if this card gains 200 trap for every gear monster you control, you can special summon one gear gear monster in your deck. Alright. What does this one do? Next card is normal summons. So none of these have anything to do with getting added to the hand, right? I'll, just get, I'll get a gear gear mark too, who cares? Alright. Why does it say I could special summon? What is this? Two level 5 monsters. I don't have a level 5 monster. Am I using one rank XYZ4 monster? Or, wait, okay. You could also XYZ summon by using one rank. Okay, let me try this just so I can see it. Alright. And let's put it over here this time. So, look at this, guys. We got another monster. It is the Drill... Vi Dr okay, whatever that is. Looks like a wasp. This card attacks defense position monster, do piercing damage. Ah, okay. Cool. Yeah, let's uh let's go for that. There we go. And there we go. That's GG, everybody. Sorry it took me so long, like usual. I'm not very fast, but it's because I'm learning all these cards and what they're doing. I'm not really learning either, I'm just reading. I know, it's crazy that I'm actually reading, but that was that was a really easy duel. Got a bunch of Gear Gear Mark IIs, and we're going to the goal. Oh, that thing looks cool. A large Waru Giano, army led by Dr. Garrick, presented Gear Giano and the others with quite the struggle. 
Various Gears units were wrecked, and even the real, ever-reliable Gear Gang X was on the brink of powering down due to drop in output. Will the Gears of Justice be defeated before the Gears of Evil? Will the rotation speed of Gears of Justice inferior to that of the Gears of Evil? It couldn't be that they were out of gas, and the pressure was too great. Just as all hopes seemed lost, a Giga Carrier trailing smoke rushed into the scene. Gears of Justice, it is now complete. All hauler. Oh my god, three Girgiano shout in unison. Girgia change. At that moment, a Gigant Carrier emits a noise separating them and merging them with Girgiant Gigant X. Feast your eyes on this, a top level elite gear unit. The ultimate gear weapon. Gear Gear, or, or Gear Gear, gear Gigant XG. It took three Gear Gianos to make this thing. And then Dr. Gerardo, uh, gear uh, just disappeared. Okay, makes sense. I would run too if I saw that thing. It's like, I'm not fighting an Autobot today. Thank you, but no. Shifting gear. Oh, a pack I might actually like. Because I saw gadgets. Hold up. Feature cards. Ancient gear. Ooh, Gadgetron Dragon. Okay. I actually do like the gadgets, so that would be very helpful to me. Stronghold of the Moving Fortress. I like it. Funny enough, if you're watching my GX Ultimate Masters Let's Play, I already made a gear deck in that game. So, you know what? That's not too bad. Maybe I will buy some packs from here. You know, give it to me. Sure. I'll buy some gear packs. A lot of these cards I can't recognize, but the ones I do recognize are very uh, special to me. So, here we go. We got a gold rare all of a sudden. And nothing special. Except that one. Ooh, we got we got Kybera. What the hell? Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon? What the hell is this? If this card was tributed by uh, by tributing Ancient Gear Monster, attack a defense mystery monster and inflict piercing damage. If this card is tributed something by a gadget monster, it can make a second attack during each battle. It has 3,000 attack. If this card attacks your opponent, it cannot activate any spell or track cards. Oh, wow. This card's amazing. Oh, man. That card is amazing. Holy crap. I need to get more gears. I can't believe I pulled an Ultra Rare in the first pack. And it was such a good one. All right, Stellar Knight. Harpy Queen. Hey, I'll take a Harpy Queen. Condolence Puppet? That's creepy as hell. No, thank you. Gold Gadget. There's a gold gadget? All right, why not? We'll take it. I was looking for red, green, and, and yellow, but I'll take a gold. All right, we got two super rares here. And one of them I could care less about. And gear, you know what? I know how to use it now, so I'll take a gear Gen X. That could be good. Fire King Avatar, ill. I don't like those. They bully me. Boot up Soldier Dynamo, okay. And another super rare, nice. Uh, well, another card too. Okay, we got a super rare and a super rare. Ancient Gear Gadget. Wait, it has, it's both? It's an Ancient Gear and a Gadget? If this card is normal special summon, you can declare one type of monster. Monster Spell Trap this turn. If your monster attacks, your opponent can activate Spell Trap cards or... Okay, that's normal. You can declare one Gadget monster's name until the end phase this card becomes that name. Oh, that's cool. An Ancient Gear Gadget card. What an interesting idea. I'm sure Crowler would love that. Alright, let's see what else we can get. We got Dragon Welcome, Gear Giano Mark III... Uh, I think, funny enough, Mark III was the only one we never got. Magic Cat? What the hell? That's cute. And what else can we get? Oh, we got this guy opening the pack. Still don't understand what him opening the pack does, but... I'm sure it matters to someone. Not me, though. Didn't give me anything special. Literally three of the same exact card, which, if I really needed three of this card, that'd be amazing. Like, if that was three green gadgets, I would have been so happy. But it wasn't, okay? It wasn't. I got a Gen X controller. That's actually a good card for Synchros. In fact, wasn't one of the Synchros I pulled last episode uh, reliant on a Gen X controller? Oh, there we go. We got a Super Rare. And another Rare, too. We got a Super Rare Ancient Gear Hydra. I have never seen that. Torque Tune Gear. Okay, whatever that is, who cares? This is what matters. All right. At the end of the damage tub, when this card was tributed summoned by tributing an Ancient Gear monster... Battles an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by battle. You can banish that uh, monster, opponent's monster. If this card was tributed to them by tributing a gadget monster, it can attack all your opponent's monsters once each. <coughs> if an ancient gear monster you control attacks your opponent... Oh, any ancient gear monster. So this would help with engineer. Wow, I really like this pack so far. I am honestly really enjoying this pack. 
And we got this guy opening it up, of course. Why not? And by doing that, we got more super rares. Hell yeah. We got the Shredder. We got Worm King. Ew. We got Gear Gear Change. And we got Symphonic Wario Bluck. Alright, what is this? Boot up Gear Change. When this is activated, you can target any number of gadget monsters you control that are equipped to a monster. Special summon them. You can discard one, add one, boot up, Admiral, Destroyer, Dynamo. Okay, there are a bunch of new gear stuff that I have no idea what they do. Got it. Uh, I can't believe we've already gotten so many rares. Alright, and Flare Scarab. I'll take that. Hey, we finally got the Stronghold. I've been needing that card. What is this? Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. It has zero attack and zero defense. Alright. After you're targeting any number of level 4 machine time monsters you control. Oh, okay, so that's what it's for. And the final pack. Of course it would be gold. Let's see what we get. We get one super rare. Gaia the Fierce Knight! Hell yeah! I got a Gaia. And another Ancient Gear Gadget, which honestly is pretty good to have more than one of. I, I'll take it. Look at all of this special stuff, guys. Gargantuan Gears. Hell yeah, I got that card. So two ultra rares. We got gear. We got gear gigant X. I'll take it. And we got ancient gear reactor dragon, which is amazing. And now I can get the gargantuan gears pack. Obviously, I'm not going to do it this episode, but the fact that I can do it makes me extremely happy. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little sidetrack there. Um, we're going to go ahead and do some more story motion stuff. But uh, if you're enjoying this series, please remember. Follow me up on this, and uh, we will duel once I uh, get to the dueling section where I duel other people. I know I've already dueled some of my friends, but I'm not going to duel subscribers for a little bit, but I will. I am going to duel my subscribers. So just follow me around this, and I'll follow you right back. See you guys next time.